progression of women's freestyle skiing since I've been in the game has been significant. The girls are throwing tricks that are rivaling the guys. Injuries are for sure a part of the sport. I tear my ACL. ACL. The only thing that scares me uh, about getting hurt is the time of my skis and missing like all this life. Uh, the first thing that comes on my mind when I hear progression is good style, new tricks, avancé, a woman skiing. Progression is important to skiing because that's what the whole sport is about. That's what makes it fun, you know, pushing your own limit, pushing the limit of the sport, and just continuing to, you know, evolve. What does it take to progress? You have to be having fun, working really hard. The best days I've had where I've learned the most tricks and done things that I'm most proud of, I was just having the best time I possibly could. I can progress myself in many different ways. I think my biggest motivation is my little brother Henry. When he learns something new, then definitely I want to beat him. I want to do the new trick before him. Would you say you too are competitive? Definitely. Alors, je pense que pour être encore plus performant sur les skis, on a besoin d'être bien entouré autour, donc d'avoir un coach, un préparateur physique, un kiné. C'est important pour bien nous entourer et, et pouvoir euh, être à 100% tout le temps en fait. I had a kind of a lot going on. I will fly to Aspen for a Red Bull camp, and that's gonna be really nice, like airbag stuff. And um, I can bring my old coach with me. He can really help me. He kind of gets my feelings when I'm on snow. My role is, is uh, to help Mathilde on the technical side of skiing, help her out, like uh, learning new tricks. And of co course, uh, tactics while competitions, season plannings, what she should do, what she shouldn't do. I just help her out with my experience to, 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 to bring her to success. All my stuff is packed, I'm ready to go. We're doing a performance camp for Red Bull athletes and uh, just a full setup, full private, uh, full pipe, triple line, rail garden, and a big air. Basically the perfect setup for our athletes. The goal is to do a, a new double. Um, the jump uh, looks really nice to do it. Today I will be working on a forward double. I think double 10. The goal is to have a second double into another direction. For Big Air, I think it's quite important that she has two different doubles for the future to still be on the podium. The strategy is we start in the beginning with some cork sevens that she will uh, have a nice feeling in that trick. The importance for her is just to have a good feeling. If she feels well on the skis, she's capable to do it quite easy. For me, learning a new trick, it has to be the right moment. And for it to be the right moment, uh, I think I need the right people. The second thing is the right music. Yeah, yes, all on me. Hey, yes, all on me. <laughs> really? I did a few cork seven to feel 
the same way as if I would go in the second rotation. So I went for it and I, I was really close to land it, um, just a little bit on the side. After my second try, I was really close and I just told myself like, okay, next try I, I land it. I was, uh, I, was, I was really confident about the third one, that I would land it, but I didn't. <laughs> and I kind of got hurt. I twisted my back, so now it hurts a lot. It's not cool that I'm hurt, but um, I think I won't do that mistake again. <laughs> I'm pretty optimistic that she will land it within the next few trainings she will have on, on snow. I think she's quite happy that she was as close as it can get. Yeah, yeah I think I need to to crash, to get confident, to know I, I can get it like every time I, I do it, I think I need to crash. Progression is incredibly important to our sport, but with extra progression comes a little more risk. Injuries are for sure a part of the sport. I tore my ACL. I tore my ACL. I tore my ACL. It was really hard for me because I knew that probably I can't go to Olympics. It was uh, my first big injury with a lot of rehab. During my rehab, it was like pretty hard because you're doing the same exercises all the time. It gets really annoying. It was not positive for me. My mental was just a bit down. First two weeks, I did my recovery in Estonia. But then I went to Austria, to Salzburg, for some rehab. Right now, I'm on my way to the gym. It was hard to accept that I wasn't going to be able to like ski at all. It seemed like a pretty, pretty long like rehab and not... Taking time off just sucks. You're watching everyone do amazing things and you're just sitting there like, oh my God, I don't want to fall behind. As far as progression, as far as sponsorship, whatever it may be, you just want to be out there doing what you love and doing everything you need to do for your career. It's now been 19 weeks or something since I did my surgery. I've been at the gym like almost every day now just to get my my strength back. Um, almost like everything else looks pretty good. First day on snow after your injury was, I don't know, it felt like I've never skied before. Like the first run felt pretty weird, but then I got back into it and it was the most fun feeling ever, I think. On 24th of uh, February, it was the first time when I was back on the mountain. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for that time so long, five months, and it's finally time. Let's go! I'm so happy, like seriously, yeah! <laughs> I'm too happy. I think the blessure is present in our sport, and we have to be aware of it. Après, d'y penser tout le temps, euh, c'est une erreur, mais, euh, mais je pense que c'est elle aussi qui nous permet de ne pas faire trop de bêtises euh, et de, de gérer un peu euh, nos entraînements comme il faut. Donc euh, forcément, ça me fait peur d'un côté, mais j'essaie de, de l'oublier et de la mettre de côté. Je pense que le freestyling n'est pas un sport dangereux. Vous devez juste prendre le step by step, ne pas hit le plus grand jump sur votre premier jour dans le snowpark. Je pense que la seule chose qui me terrifie, uh, about getting hurt is the time of my skis and missing like all this life, just uh, traveling and uh, skiing everywhere. It's gonna be a challenge to catch up, but 
I mean, I'm more motivated than ever, and uh, I don't know, I love skiing more than ever, so hopefully I'll get back into it pretty soon. Every two years you have the world champs and it kind of puts Number that person who wins on the right path leading up into the Olympics. So world champs are an important event to do well at. I would love to get the gold, but I mean all the girls are skiing real well and the level is really high. Missing the podium at X Games Big Air for Tess, I think she's ready to redeem herself. Yeah, I'll be a